having been in the restaurant business most of my life, um, I've kind of dabbled in food, wine, and spirits for the last 45 years, actually. Coming to Cooperstown was sort of um, an evolution of a great friendship and a business relationship where I was doing some consulting for a restaurant in Cooperstown. I fell in love with the town simultaneously with that. New York State was rewriting most of their craft distilling legislation, which was beginning to get very interesting for me as an entrepreneur to come back to New York. I'm a native New Yorker, so it was sort of a dream come true. And the marriage of Cooperstown and, and Spirits was always uh, implicit in our business model from day one. I always knew that part of the strategy of developing this brand in Cooperstown was predicated on that we could marry baseball and spirits. And of course we started to strategize on the baseball bottle, the decanter bottle, which is our hands down most significant marketing tool that we have is our Abner Doubleday baseball bottle decanter, which has been a huge success for us. We spent uh, almost a year in prototypes with a um, mechanical engineer. You know, it took a lot of planning. We got it down, right down to the 108 stitches on the baseball seams, like a regulation baseball. We gleaned Double Day's actual autograph from the archives. If you turn it upside down, it's got the baseball diamond. It's got an ash finish top, just like a baseball bat. Even the box is a, a period style baseball box, like the old baseballs used to come in. We really thought that that was a key piece of our, our marketing strategy, the baseball ball. New York's doing great things with this craft distilling movement. Originally from Pennsylvania, it's a little bit more state controlled, the liquor. Um, so New York is, you know, saying, hey, we see this, this chance for revenue here. Um, go for it, guys. Make some great spirits. There's demand for it. Um, we'll help you out. So, you know, you have the state on your side, which is a great thing. And then I feel New York State as a whole, there's, there's a lot of people that are kind of agriculturally driven here. 95% of our ingredients come from the state. All my grains right now are coming from Canada Johari. So I'm getting my grains 20 miles north of here. And then hopefully within about another month, there's going to be a cooper coming online, a cooperage, a place that builds barrels. So within about another month, I won't have to go more than an hour drive to get grains for bourbon and whiskey. And I will not have to go you know, more than an hour drive to get those barrels. I think uh, New York is going to be known for making some great bourbons here in the future. Being in Cooperstown, was a very important piece of our business model. We knew this was a great place for us. We knew that the, the village would support us. We knew that it was right for the picking, uh, marrying baseball and spirits, and we think we've done a great job with it.